everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here then hi, my name is Sophie and welcome to my space on the internet. In today's video we are doing my second, technically my third, homeware haul. I did a homeware haul which is just like a general homeware haul which I'll leave linked up there. Um, but also did an Ikea haul after my birthday Ikea trip but this is my second proper like general homeware haul um, like collection of things that I've bought over the last couple of weeks. Um, in terms of how I look, I have literally just shoved some curls in my hair so I don't look quite so rough. Um, again, I haven't worn makeup in a very long time and even though it's my day off and I've had the entire day to put some makeup on and look presentable to film this video, I have not. It got to five o'clock and I was like, I need to film a video for Sunday. Uh, but yeah, just had to deal with it. This is my natural face. Um, currently just not in the swing of doing makeup. Masks just make me not want to wear makeup, so it's what it is. You have to deal with my face. I'm sorry if that offends you. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this homeware haul. Okie dokie, so where to start? I start with um, some recipe, book, recipe books. Um, I don't really have any recipe books to be honest. I don't really follow recipes, I just generally cook the things I know how to cook, um, which isn't the best, and it's not particularly like. I don't have a particularly wide variety of things that I can cook, so my diet is pretty much the same food every week. So like when I move out, I wanna try and mix up a little bit. And I saw these cookbooks that kind of like sparked my interest. Um, the first one is the Halloumi cookbook. This one here, look like this. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, looks like this. Um, it was £4.99. And basically it's just a book of Halloumi recipes, which is super exciting because I love halloumi and if you didn't know I quite regularly go for the vegetarian option in restaurants if it's like a halloumi burger, halloumi and chips like I love cheese and I love halloumi or squeaky cheese as I like to call it um so yeah I bought this cookbook from HomeSense um the next one I got was this posh cookbook for pancakes I do lots of different like recipe books I saw one for like rice as well which I contemplated getting but I thought you know two recipe books in one go is probably enough for now um, but I like pancakes um, and I know how to cook like one one pancake like the classic like thin crepe pancake which I cook every like pancake day um, but this gives you like different versions like the thick ones um, like I don't know other variations of pancake mixtures but also like savoury ways to eat them and like yeah different recipes um which I'm super excited like cheesy pancakes I love cheese I like pancakes mix it into one cheesy pancakes uh which I would never really thought to have pancakes in like a savoury way um so yeah excited to get cooking those when I move out and uh, this one was £3.99 it's quite thick and they just feel nice as well I like nice looking and feeling recipe books <laughs> Those are the two recipe books I got. Next, some more kitchenware. I got this Taylor's Eyewitness Saturn Gold can opener. Now, I have a can opener from uni, but it was a cheap plastic white one which didn't actually open any cans. I think it was from Ikea. And whenever I use it to try and open cans, it, cans, it was so, so hard. Um, but yeah, this is the one I got the other day. Super cool. I like that it's gold and it feels like nice and sturdy which is always important with a can opener you need a sturdy can opener um and yeah this was seven pounds 99 looks like it was down from like 22 but got this from home sense as well um going on from that and matching that i got the taylor's eyewitness satin gold ice cream scoop this ice cream scoop i've seen come in multi-colored silver um i think even a rose gold as well i've seen but i like the gold and I like that it matched my can opener so I got this ice cream scoop again just looks like this um if you know me I'm not like the biggest ice cream fan to be honest I the only ice cream that I like like and will buy on its own um is the Ben and Jerry's cookie dough mainly because I love the cookie dough in it I don't get the like cookie dough bit separate now which is super exciting um but yeah that is the only ice cream that I'd really by myself uh, but for the eventuality that Tom stays around he wants ice cream and I have an ice cream soup uh, 
which looks pretty and aesthetically pleasing. My favourite kind. And next, now, ooh, I already have a chopping board, which I showed you in my last homeware haul, but I decided I'd probably need two um, chopping boards. If I'm like cooking and Tom's helping cooking, I feel like it's easier when there's like two chopping boards and um, just so you've got enough space. I left the stickers on it so I could remember how much it is because it's the exact same chopping board that I already have, but it's in pink. I thought it'd be nice to have two different colored chopping boards, like one for meat, one for vegetables. Um, so yeah, it's another Joseph and Joseph chopped a pot um, knife. It's one of those knife <laughs> chopping boards where it like scoops up so you can just put all your stuff in the bin and it was £7.99 that's what it kind of looks like up close yeah exactly the same um, as my blue one it kind of like slot in together which is handy uh, yeah second chopping board next I got a pack of these when I went to visit my sister I don't think I vlogged it no, I don't think. I went to visit my sister one weekend, um, just me and her chilled out, we just went a bit of a mooch around, went to Home Sense and things, and went to Wilco, and I bought a pack of these um, skirt hangers, um, and if you didn't know, I said it in my last homework haul, and I'm trying to get rid of all the plastic coat hangers that I've like, accumul accumulated over the years, um, but like replacing them with like metal and those velvet ones, and I've seen, I do have some of the velvet skirt hangers, but I don't really see them very often and they're quite hard to find. Um, but I found these and I really like them. I like that you've got like the little colours. So you've got the blue, grey and the pink, which is kind of like my aesthetic um, colours wise. And they're nice and sturdy. So I've got two packs of these um, to clear out all the plastic ones from my wardrobe. Um, they were £3.99, I think. They've not got the price on annoying i thought they did but i think they're about three pounds 99 um yeah just trying to tidy up my wardrobe i got these mm -hmm. next a another homeware um home sense purchase this is a vigor microfiber short duster in my flat they have blinds on the windows all of them so i'm gonna have curtains and there's blinds and those windows as well, so I thought it'd be useful to clean the blinds. This is what it looks like close up. Just like a microfiber clothy, which you can take off with the poppers um, and wash that. And then it's just got this like bendy thing inside um, for dusting. Again, mainly bought it because it's like my aesthetic of blue, but it is a practical purchase because I'm gonna have to dust in my new flat. Um, I haven't got a mother to clean up after me. Um, but yeah, this was £4.99 from HomeSense. Moving on from kitchen stuff for a moment, um, we're gonna go into bathroom things. I've just finally started to like purchase things for the bathroom. Uh, the first thing I bought was a bin. Got this from HomeSense. Tom actually found it and pointed it out to me. I didn't see it. He found it and was like, this seems like your aesthetic. What do you think? Um, and it is this little blue bin. It is five litre slow co slow close pedal bin um, with hygienic removable liner for easy cleaning. As uh, so it's got your pedal, it's a nice little blue because my entire flat is blue. Um, yeah, got this. This was nine pounds ninety nine, so pretty bargain. Um, Tabichi London is the brand. And yeah, super excited to get that in the bathroom. Next. So I first saw this set uh, when I went to go visit my sister. That same time that I got the Wilco thingamabobs, I saw this set. We went to Asda. Um, and I saw this set, that's when I bought the green throw with the bubbles on the end. Um, I saw this set, but they didn't have the full set. Um, my sister pointed out that she had the soap dish from it and I was like, actually, I really like it. And when it comes to buying homeware things, I have to think about it a lot. Like, 
this, I must have seen this in Home Sense about 10 times before I actually bought it. Like, I have to see something, I have to like something, and I have to think about it for a couple of weeks and convince myself, and like, then become obsessed with wanting it, and then I buy it. So that was kind of what happened with this, because I went and capped it for my sister again the other week, and I went back into Asda, because I was like, just having a mooch around all the homeware hauls, and I was like, the whole set's here, let's get it. Um, so it is, I'm gonna start with a toilet brush. Lovely, I know that I'm showing a toilet brush that I'm going to have in my flat on the internet. Uh, but it's just this like faux granite toilet brush. So that's, so that's the toilet brush. And then I've got the matching toilet roll holder. Doo -doo -doo. Again, just like the faux granite base. They feel like really nice and sturdy. Um, I think in total all of this cost £28. Um, it wasn't too expensive at all, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, but yeah, toilet roll holder, so I'll go behind the bin. Um, and then, with a little soap dish, I've decided that I'm probably going to have, like, normal bar soap in the bathroom. Just where it's, like, cheaper and lasts longer than, like, a pump one. Um, so, yeah, got a little soap dish. And then a matching toothbrush holder which has got the two sections are like rectangular section and the circular section it's so like texture close up again they're really nice and like sturdy and heavy which is what I liked about them and um, they did have a separate um brush holder like a little circular kind of separate one but I thought this big long one would be better um for my bathroom shelf so I got that yeah, so I think the total of that, they came to like £28 altogether, which is not bad at all. Next, back to the kitchen. I bought the today, actually. Again, it was one of those things where I have to see it, I have to obsess over it for a little bit, find other options, and then I'll go back to the original thing that I liked. Um, I saw this when I was in Bristol, Denelm, um literally just a week ago and I've been trying to find like a dining set that I really like and I found this one and I sent it to Tom and Tom basically was like I don't like it and I was like oh I was gonna buy it I sent it to my mum my mum liked it and my sister liked it as well I was like oh okay Tom doesn't like it though uh, so I went away I went from like, I left on Elm I like kind of freaked out and I didn't buy anything whatsoever from the Elm um and then on my day after day I just kind of having a mooch went to see my flat uh, I still have the keys a whole different story um went and had a mooch around Dunelm and um, went to the range saw, saw like multiple other like dining sets that I kind of liked but I was like comparing it to this one that I saw in Dunelm so I just went back to Dunelm and bought it so sorry Tom sorry if you don't like it um but yeah so I bought the full set and I also bought the slightly bigger pasta bowls so let me oh my god <laughs> This is the set it's going to focus, so it's like a light grey, um, it's called the Quilted Grey Dinner Set, um, you can see it better, so it can, came with, so it comes with four plates, four side plates and four bowls, and they're like the little, more like cereal bowls, um, and they had the slightly bigger pastry bowls um, separately, which are like £3.50 each, so I got four of these as well, so that's what it's like, light grey, like quilted. Um, yeah, sorry Tom, I bought them anyway. <laughs> but yeah, nice little grey quilted. I don't think any of this is open, it's all like packed in there so I can't really show you separately. Or can I? Barely. See if I can show you one of the bowls. This is what I mean by like a slightly more cereal bowl shape. Four of these bowls, four plates and four side plates. <laughs> I think if I take it out I'll be able to get it back in. But I'll take you around it. So yeah, this is the plate, so it's like the quilted around the outside and then it's like normal on the inside. So that's the plates and like the small plates are also like that as well. I don't know if you're straight anymore after I took you off the sand. Uh, but yeah, so that is the dinner set that I have finally settled on after 
umming and ahhing for a stupidly long time. Because I am in the habit of showing you absolutely everything that I buy for my flat, whether it's interesting or not, um, also on that Dunelm tri trip, I got a roasting tin, so it's like a slightly deeper roasting tin. This is probably like three pounds. And then a baking tray, which was one pound. And then a slightly bigger baking tray, which was two pounds. Um, baking trays like never last long. So I was in the range and there were some really cute like rose gold baking tins and I was like, eight pounds. That's gonna get ruined in like two seconds. I'm just gonna get some cheapo baking tins. It doesn't really matter, like one pound, I can use this until it dies. And it doesn't matter if it's not pretty, but I got them as well. <laughs> just to show you absolutely everything that I buy for my flat. Um, I showed you in my last homeware hauls the two um, lampshades that I bought for the living room um, where I've got like two dangling lamps, lamps, lights. I bought two matching lampshades um, and then I was looking for like a fabric light shade for my bedroom where it's just one hanging in the middle and I found this in Dunelm. It comes in a couple of different colour variations but I like blue so... <laughs> I bought the blue one um, but it's just this lampshade so it's got like a cream centre section and then two blue sections around and yeah this is going to go in my bedroom I think how much is this one this one was £22 there is a smaller one that one was £15 um, again from Dunelm and it can be for hanging lights but also um Stand lights as well. I think they also had like bedside table lights with this lampshade on as well, which might be a little bit too much to have <laughs> matching bedside table lights to the ceiling light, but maybe we'll think about it. I don't even know if I'm gonna have room for bedside table lights. Like my bedroom in my flat is not particularly big. Like I don't even think I'm gonna be able to fit my dressing table in, which is an issue because I love my dressing table. I'll figure it out, we'll find a way. Uh, but yeah, bought a lap jade. And finally, I'm gonna show you uh, some bits that were gifted to me uh, as a birthday present from my best friend, Nicole, who knows me very, very well. I've known her for a long time. I went to go visit her the other week. Again, I didn't vlog because I don't want to shove a camera in people's faces because I'd be like, people got annoyed with me when I did that. And I've now got some weird social anxiety about filming other people in my vlogs. So now I don't do it. Um, but yeah, um, I went and visited her um, to see her house that she's bought, which is beautiful. I love her house. Um, and then, yeah, it was my birthday, so she bought me a birthday present. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd share that in this homeware haul, even though I didn't personally buy it. She got it dead on. Like, this is my aesthetic through and through. And I love her. Thank you, Nicole. Um, yeah, first off, she got me some mugs. Um, she got me this beautiful sort of tealy bluey colour super cute um, pattern this was from Dun Elm obsessed she got me two of this colour and then two of uh, the cream ones which I'll be right back <laughs> I'm back I left the cream one in my other room and um, yeah so she got me that like tealy green one but also a little white one to match so I got two white two teal which are super duper cute I love them they're adorable and then the next things that she got me I'd seen um, in home sense and I've been searching for ages to like find like you know the tea coffee sugar pots that you get uh, for your kitchen and like all the ones that said tea coffee and sugar I didn't really like so I didn't like that they said tea coffee sugar on them um, and I'd seen these in home sense but I hadn't thought to like pair them like she's done um, I'd always see them but they're always like different patterns and I didn't think about mix and matching them to make a cute little odd set and she'd done that and I love them um, so they're these mason cash little pots uh, so like the first one is this like honeycomb 
pattern it's like a nice grey it's the mason cash storage jar so like the first one's like this nice hexagony grey and then a cute blue one that's got like these chevron patterns on them and then the third one is another nice a slightly different I can't talk a slightly different tone of blue and this one's just like spotty and um, pattern and um, but paired all together they look super cute and like even though they're all different um colorways and patterns together they look adorable so she nailed it on the head and saved me a job of trying to find uh, my tea sugar coffee pots because I was really struggling uh, so thank you Nicole um, I love you you're amazing and I will see you soon <laughs> so there we have it that was my second homeware haul of things that I have accumulated over the last couple of weeks in preparation for moving into my flat um, in terms of how that movement is going I finally had my mortgage approved COVID is making it so much longer than it needs to be um, but finally got that approved so hopefully in the next couple of weeks I should be going to exchange and yeah getting the keys to my flat not that I'm going to move in straight away like I'm going to do my empty flat tour and I want to do a bit of painting because some of the skirting boards are a bit of a monkey colour and yeah I want to like spruce it up a little bit before I move in and like slowly move in um, all my stuff and like arrange furniture and stuff so that's going to be a whole different process and that's going to be vlogged obviously it's a super exciting thing for me to vlog to share and also just have the memories um, but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this homeware haul. Make sure you go check out my other homeware hauls that I've done so far, other vlogs, makeup videos. There's a whole lot on my channel. Um, I'd love for you to check it out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video. And um, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.